According to the police, chanting the words from the river to the sea at a protest like this, the latest pro-Palestinian march in London, is not enough to get you arrested. Not unless it's being used to incite violence or intimidate Jewish people. To Palestinians, the refrain is a call for their return to the land that is now Israel. But Britain's Jewish leaders insist the chance should be a crime because it's used, they say, by Hamas and has clear links to terrorism. And there lies the problem, says the Met Commissioner. This is really precarious. In the middle of it, we've got these big protests. And some of what goes on there, people do find, uh, do find it upsetting, do find distasteful. And sometimes people give an instinctive view that must be illegal. There is scope to be much sharper in how we deal with extremism in this country. The law was never dealt designed to deal with extremists. And we have bodies of law to deal with terrorism, bodies of law to deal with hate crime. We don't have a body of law that deals with extremism. There's no point in us arresting hundreds of people if it's not prosecutable. The Jewish community has the sympathy of the Home Secretary and the government's independent counter-extremism czar. Both believe, in the context of the current conflict, the controversial chant should trigger an arrest. The law on extremism, said a cabinet minister, did not need clarifying for now at least. The current law is fit for purpose. We do have, of course, uh, the Terrorism Act, we have the Public Order Act, that the police can deploy in these types of circumstances where people are um, actively promoting a terrorist organisation or inciting hatred um, and, uh, and promoting violence. And we've seen some of that happen. We've seen some arrests taking place. Home Secretary has been working with the police because we want to see a uh, more stricter clampdown, shall we say. Um, and, of course, we keep everything under review. Seeing their boss at odds with the government doesn't help those policing the protests. We've heard politicians now debating this, whether it's, it's illegal or not. For the police officers standing there on the street, it's very challenging to decide, at that point, you have got a criminal offence in front of you. Is the law on extremism clear enough? No, it's not clear enough. There needs to be more clarity around. We're talking about intent with a lot of these offences, so what is the intent here? Since the conflict began, hate crimes, anti-Semitic especially, and Islamophobic, have gone up hugely. Police have made 100 arrests in London, and the commissioner warned there were more to come. Martin Brunt, Sky News.